All right, guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how to play Wukong top in the new patch. Wukong is really strong at the moment, so I definitely uh, recommend you guys to pick up this champ. Um, for the runes, you want to go for a Conqueror. You want to take Triumph, Alacrity, Last End, a Biscuit Delivery, and Time Warp Tonic. Now, along with this, you want to pick a Corrupting Pot because it combines very well together. Now, we're currently facing off a, a Shaco top. It's not the first time I play against a Shaco. I've got a lot of experience playing a Shaco top because a lot of people are doing it at the moment. It's kind of like an off-meta pick, but I understand how it works. Like, Shaco uh, players that play top, they always want you to, like, walk into their trap. Hmm. I could basically outrange that, that trap as well with my Q. But yeah, most of the time it's about Shaco simply placing a trap down and then like baiting you directly into it. It's also like an AP Shaco, as you can tell. He's got a Doran's Ring, so. Alright, we're gonna take it safe. So, the way how Wukong works as a champion is mostly around sh uh, short trading, for the most part. That's basically what the champ is about. Our laning phase kind of starts off level 3, though. Like, until then, we're going to have to play it out safely. Go for, like, a little trap there. I'm actually getting blocked by the trap. I couldn't walk through the trap right now because it was blocking me straight up. Alright. This Shaco is going to have a lot of trouble because um, Wukong is not necessarily the best early game champion in the world. Um, but once you make it to level 6, that's where Wukong starts, like, scaling up insanely hard. And especially when we get to find Sunder, the first item that we are basically running. Uh, once we have that, like, it's an instant win. He doesn't really win against that at all. Kind of unfortunate that we don't have any magic resist in the matchup. Uh, I actually thought I was playing against a Yasuo top lane, but... Like, for that reason, we're actually going to take, like, a lot of damage from each time he's going to press E. And his traps are also doing a lot of damage. So, I'm not very happy with that, but I'm accepting it. Show me the path. Yeah, so, for now, we're just going to have to respect Shaco, like, a little bit for what it is. Because every single time that he places a trap down, um, it's really, really hard for us to... Q him or drop an E on him because he can zone with a trap, right? And especially since we are running armor in my stats, like, it's actually even more tough. But once again, like, keep in mind, Wukong as a champion is not designed for early game. Uh, it's more for um, when you reach the level 6. I'm pretty happy with, the st like, the standing of the lane because... Um, when we were backporting, um, we didn't lose that much farm. And the greatest thing is that we're actually ahead in farm as well. Who questions my Pretty incredible. Alright, let's chill out. Don't want to miss this one. I actually did miss it. Um, in terms of like abilities for those that are completely new to Wukong... Um, you always want to max out your Q. For some reason, there's actually Wukong players that are maxing E, which is kind of strange. It's like the old Wukong. Uh, you always want to max your Q and then your E after. Uh, regardless of the matchup that you're in. He's going to jump in. So there was a trap right there. It's actually hitting me still. <laughs> it's pretty strange. Got to be very careful about their joiner though. I think that this Shaco is maxing E because it's actually doing like a lot of damage. Surprisingly. There we go. I'm just gonna spam my Q on him uh, as much as possible, although his E does more damage than my Q. Hmm. I'm kind of hoping that he's gonna hit his E into my clone so that I can kind of out damage him, but. I can't really jump on him here because the trap will, once again, it will do damage on me. It's not really a fun matchup. 
Shakeless, like, Shakeless is that perfect champion that once you pick it into a champion like Wukong, like, Wukong can't really jump in or can spam his Q because he always out damages you. He's using his ultimate to brush my plating down. Okay. Sure. Go ahead. He has no ultimate anymore. Wait, what is he doing? I got him. Yep. So, the good thing is that he... The, the strategy that he was trying to pull off was pretty smart. But the funny thing is that... He kind of risked it, like, using his ultimate uh, to try and get the plate. In the end, he didn't even get the plate. Feels bad for him. If he uses his ultimate, he becomes very weak because my all-in becomes strong, right? So, just like I said earlier, Wukong, in, like, scales up extremely well. Like, as soon as you reach level 6, you have your ultimate, you get all in potential, which you otherwise never have. And as soon as you reach, um, let me actually buy this one. As soon as you reach the Defined Sunder, which we are already halfway in, um, as soon as you reach this item, your, your combo is going to do a lot of damage. You will see. All right, let's stop him again. So he's pushing it. That's fine. Go ahead. So as long as the wave is like pushed into me, then I'm happy. I like it where it is. I definitely don't want the wave to be pushed in towards him. Yeah, he's doing the trap again. Pretty classy. There we go. So if we use my W, we can kind of skip the plant. I mean the plant. I mean the the, the trap. Perfect. We have three corrupting pots ready so far. Perfect. So that's gonna hit the trap once again. I can clear that with my Q. I'm happy with that. Like the, the Q range from Wukong is actually higher than the, the trap itself. So that is where he has all the traps, you see? Ah, that's the big one. Right. <laughs> it's such a cheesy. It's so cheesy. Unbelievable. Sh like I said, Shaco as a champion is basically designed to bait you and then to kill you with traps. It's literally all that is. It it's so awkward to play against. I can't farm that because he would drop another. This champion is pretty awkward. It really is. I think that my Lee Sin can honestly clean this up pretty well. I don't know what he's waiting for. Wait, I'll ping a couple times. I'm not going to backward here because Lee Sin can easily kill him. No, don't go that way. Just go this way. Just go ahead. I don't know what he's actually waiting for. Alright, I could have technically ignited him, but Lee Sin was coming over, so I'm glad I've actually saved it for now. That's way better. Now we push. And this will hopefully get us the Define. We're getting pretty close to it. It's not going to be enough yet, though. There we go. I wish I could, like, continue pushing for another plate, but... Unfortunately, like, if I push this out all the way, like, their drone is going to come in and clean me up. So I'm just going to have to respect that. Alright, let's move back top. So this wave is going to crash into the tower. If he moves up, he's going to obviously farm all of this. He could even drag the wave a little bit if he wants. Oh, it came in, like, later. Okay. Here we go. So once again, the wave's gonna get pushed on towards me. Because he's gonna use the traps. 
Can't wait for my Define right now. Define's gonna clean up all the mess here. Not bad. He's not taking the trade, which is a good thing, because I was about to actually kill him right there. He's gonna try to spam E on me now. So I'm gonna avoid the Q for a bit. Let's try to jump away from me. That's on a long CDR. Now I can actually try and kill him. So he's probably going to do the same thing like he did before. He's probably going to send in the clone and then try and bait me. I'm pretty sure he's going to do that. So let's see. I got my W to run away from him. Just try to stop me. Could that be the real one? Hmm. <laughs> this is interesting. Ah, okay. All right, all right. So that was the fake one, actually. Sure. <laughs> I want to I wanna jump into that, man. But I think he knows that I'm going to flash in. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. In fact, I think that uh, Keanu's probably going to come top now. Big chance that Keanu's top. Because my team is taking the, the Drake right now. I want to jump into that, man, but I think that Kiana's here. I, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling it right now. Okay, she's balling. That's good. Got him. <laughs> I was thinking about using my flash so that he wouldn't like expect to jump on me, so I could instantly pop him. But the good thing is, like, <laughs> I was able to use the brush and use my W. Now I got my define, and I'm getting plates as well. All right, let's get this one. Who questions my ability? I want to try to take more plates. Let's see. Because the timer's almost down. This would give me a very huge advantage. All right, we've got two. Yeah, this game is in my hands right now. It's looking incredible. Oh, you guys actually coming with such an amazing trick, actually. It's a Shaco with Arcane. I could have actually just seen the real one. You guys are right, actually. Completely forgot about that one. For a second. Alright, let's move back top. So, this game is in my hands right now. Because this is the point where Wukong starts to scale up, like, really hard. Um, we have to define right now. The next item we go afterwards could be a black lever, but we can also go into Hydra for snowballing. What are you doing? Oh, that's the fake one. Wow. Cheap. Very cheap. I knew it. Doesn't help him, though. I don't know why he's using that. I don't know, man. I don't know what's... It doesn't provide him anything, actually. Yeah, personally, I am definitely not a huge fan of playing against off-meta picks like Shaco. For some reason, just everyone picks Shaco, but it's kind of... It's just a champion designed to, like, annoy you, right? It beats players that don't know how to play against it, but... Me, personally, I have already played against too many. Last try. Using my W to block. Okay, now I can actually, uh... Kill this guy. Got him. Hmm. I suppose I can actually get a kill on him. Or... Maybe... Uh, I'm not going to do that. It's too risky. I was thinking about turning, but I'm glad I didn't. Because it would be far too risky. I want to take the cannon, but I'm pretty sure... <laughs> Pretty sure that Kiana's currently still chasing me, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'll go back here. Okay, so the next item we're going to buy right now will be the Hydra. I'm going to take two long swords with me now. So, 
all that's left to do now is to maintain the pressure in top side. If we can consistently like kill Shaco over and over again and maintain the push, then we can make some really good opportunities to 1v9 even harder. Hello there, aimbots. Always watch my YouTube videos. Now first time watching my stream. Hello there, man. Welcome to my stream. So he's back with the traps. I can clean it up right now in an instant. That's why it doesn't matter anymore. So where did he go, actually? Oh, that's where he is. Okay. Well, I'm... Yeah, I can see the real one. <laughs> mm. I got him. I just need to chase for a bit. Maybe he's going to turn if I press R. Maybe. Eh, I don't think he will. No, nah, never mind. It was worth trying, at least. Oh, he's still here. Hmm. So he has actually decided to stay and he's placing the traps down. Classic. He's going to use Q to run. My journey's only beginning. Not bad. Got like two Q, uh, one Q off, but an auto as well for my clone. There we go. He's gonna, he's gonna try to bait me with a trap once again. He's baiting guys. You see? Same thing as always. Like this is what Shaco does all the time, man. Not fun. But even though we don't get a kill on him right now, we still have the pressure, which is going to provide us enough for soon. Um, if I could have the Red Trinket right now, I could actually kill him quite easily. Oof. He was going to outplay me with a, with, a, with a clone. Wow. I knew it. I'm glad I like immediately EQ'd, so I didn't even mix up my auto. I just instantly EQ'd so I could get the kill. Like, I did it so fast that the clone from Shaco completely glitched. <laughs> and it didn't work anymore. Just Quality. So there's no traps. Alright, now we can get this tower done. It's about time that this one goes down. Whenever you push lane, guys, you should always use your clone to push faster if it comes down to, like, towers. Um, of course, it needs to be safe, though. You don't want to do it when uh, when there's too much risk on the line. Let's go back here. So, we need to have, like, four... Well, actually, 550 gold right now. He's here. Oh, you're going over there. Okay. I can't use your trap, man. Oh, wow. Classic. <laughs> He's professional running, though. I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, Shaco is kind of useless now. Like, this is the turning point. I can go back now here, and I can uh, buy my Hydra right now. In fact, what I could even do is stay for one more wave, so I can buy my Hydra. Because I'm still missing, like, 250, so... I gotta be careful with how I manage my mana a little. Okay, now I can go back. So I, I still cannot buy my Hydra, but what I could do is simply sell my Corrupting Pod now and then simply buy the uh, the Hydra. So, Like at this point, I don't really care about Hydra and like I don't really care about the Corrupting Pod anymore because... Um, I've got my damage already. I got too much mana, you know. Lenny face is over, so I don't need that anymore. So, next on right now. What we are going to do is see if we can actually get our roam off. We are super strong right now because we have got my ultimate up, including my flash. So, that is zero chance of dying here. Wukong is a perfect champion for roaming for multiple reasons. Got him. Pretty good. I'm not going to chase him down because it's kind of worthless to do. It's no point. 
See if I can get a wave. Who questions my ability? Nice. I could use my clone to push faster, but I don't. Let's get a blue buff. It's a massive fight in mid. I could flank that pretty easily. Oh, apparently they're actually going for a surrender right now. Okay. Okay, sure. Well, that was interesting. 